top of the morning out here in Aberdeen, Freetown, Sierra Leone. I ran in the passport stamp here. Respect, respect. The brother is here getting his citizenship and I just want to sit down with them, get some more details about the process and, and how it is for him coming back to Africa. Let's go, I'm ready for it. I'm looking forward to this. It's an honor and a pleasure to be on my brother's channel. Respect, Rastafari, I as I, Rastafari. Yes, indeed. Let us find somewhere comfortable and get this interview going. You see, he's out here even doing philanthropy work. The man is giving away shoes from his own inventory, giving What's away up, some bro? Jordans. Let's just try to bring you some good stuff, right? You know Michael Jordan? Yes. He's a Jordan. Very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And I just got like you a bunch of clothes. I got you some more slippers. Brand new. I got brand new socks. Brand new socks, never been worn. And I got you outfit to go with Jordans. This is God who bless you. Yes. Yeah. And then I got you, uh, bless you. That's God. got you one more outfit. Wow. Here at the bottom, bro. This one here, this is nice too, bro. This here with that, it's very nice. Everything's good, brother. Everything's, Thank you very much. Much. Everything's blessing, huh? Thank you very much. Bro. Yes, man. Thank you, brother, for being a good brother. Remember, man, you gotta keep I know you go through a lot right now, right? It's not easy, right? Yes, yeah, this go with the shoes, see? Yes. Yeah, Rastafari. <laughs> ah, look at him. He's trying to put it on right now, man. That's respect, man. Check him out, man. Yeah, because he may be a small. It's like, let's see. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, these are pants, here. Yeah? These are the pants that go with that. But they're long pants, right? These are jeans, they go with the Jordans. I hope you can fit them, I hope they're not too big. These pants are kind of big. Let's see, yeah, he needs a belt. Yeah, he needs a belt, yes. So you need a belt. I gotta get you a belt, man. Cause they're big, huh? Yes. They're kind of big. Yes, yes, yes. I don't want them to fall. These are shorts. Yes. Yes, yes. Nice, huh? Yeah. This short here goes with this. This one here goes with that. You see? See. Let's go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You take this to the house, brother. You try it on, man. And get you a belt. Gotta get you a belt. Oh, he put it on now. Respect, brother. It's, it's respect, nice, brother. So I appreciate what you do for me. Oh, man, respect, so brother. Respect. Look at him, like, get it clean, <laughs> baby. Get clean, man. I knew he would like these Jordans. These Jordans are nice, huh? The Jordans is nice, man. God bless you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my brother. Not easy for him. Not easy, man, I know. Yes, I know. But everything's gonna be better. It gets better, man. That's why we're here. I am my brother's keeper, you know? When, when my brothers struggle, we struggle together. You know, we struggle. We struggle as one. Yeah, man. Rastafari. Yeah, we struggle together, man. I love you. You see the I use up here? I love you guys. Yes, sir, man. Here, put it on. Yeah, I got it, brother. Easy, brother. Easy. I love this brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've never seen this kind of Jordan, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah? Like yes, sir. He came to me, leaving in Jordan. This the man is staying up for leaves. Yes. You know that takes? He put this one on. Yes. To make a one more citizen of the United States. Yes. yes sir. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, United States. One love. Yeah. One blood. <laughs> <laughs> one blood. Me. Yeah, man. We all one blood, man. Yeah, okay. Like a Jordan, bro. Like that, a complete makeover. Yeah. From head to toe. Yeah. He came in the sandals. Yes, sir. Leaving in the Jays. And it's not only that, he said he's going to get you belts. Mm hmm. Got to get him the belt for you on sand. Bless this man. Yes, it's sir. a blessing to your life. Wow. Okay. Real blessing to his life. <laughs> We will bless you to your blessing. Indeed, yes. Ah, look at my brother, man. He got the Jordans. Yeah. 
Literally, I saw this man. He he just found him here at the beach. You see the beach across the street. Hey, yeah, yeah, you good, brother? And he found it within himself to do some philanthropy, to give. Wow. Brother, you looking good, man. Whoa! Check you out, man. Brand new. Brand new Jordans. You know what I'm saying? Brand new jeans, brand, brand new shirt, clothes. bag full of socks. And you know what I'm saying? New shirts. To put on. Man, this man's and looking like a brand new man. Bro, you look like you're from uh, uh, Memphis, Tennessee right now, bro. You look hey, G'd so up. Give me a peace, man. Give me peace and love, bro. <laughs> Thank you very much. Respect, Rastafari. And so, look it, I gotta give him a belt, y'all. But he's clean out here, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Got his Jordans on. This is how I'm feeling. This how you feeling? I'm feeling good. Blessings Thank you very much. Yes, yes. look at him. He's so clean <laughs> out here, bro. Thank you, very like much. Real guy, Thank you very much. You know what what I Thank you very you much. Thank you very much. Bro, you look like. How do they feel? They feel okay? I feel good. I'm, yeah, I'm feel to work now. You man is getting children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, I'm Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> you got, you got a wife. No. You about to get a wife now. Yes, <laughs> uh, girl outside. Yes, sir. Hey, next time I see you, I get you a bill, okay? okay. I come back tomorrow and bring a bill for you. Okay. I bring more stuff for you tomorrow, okay? You Respect, much. man. One love, brother. Thank One love, man. Much. One love. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. No problem. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right, peace and love. Me, the only thing I, do, I want from you is water. I want to drink water. What? I want to drink all my water. This is what I do, okay? Yes, Respect. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm, in, I'm here, sir. Okay, brother. Wow. So, this is dope, man. This is what we do. It ain't about how much you give back to. Just make sure it comes from the heart. When you speak to anybody, I don't care what color they are, you speak from the heart so they can feel your soul. When you speak this way, I and I, it's Rastafari. And <laughs> hey, this is just the start of the day with Passport Stamp. <laughs> this, this. You going home now? Yeah, I told you, I told you, I bless you. Hmm? Getting stamped. You just give them like 20. Mm -hmm. One look. Yeah. Me personally, I'm the type of person where we go to a hotel. At my hotel, I don't care if you're the housekeeping, I don't care if you're the doorman, security guard, uh, laundry room, receptionist. I always shake a hand, give him a blessing, give him a blessing. Let's see what brother had to say. What's up, brother? What's up, I want to go and buy food to eat. Ah, oh, I knew. I That's my fault, man. Maybe this is gives you straight. But you got to eat. Go get some food. Thank you very much. One love. Go Thank get some you. food. Yes, indeed. Go get Thank some food. you very much. Yes, One indeed. love. <laughs> One love. He's so happy. One love. <laughs> One love. <laughs> One love. One <laughs> love. Yes. Have a good one. This is good. This is what life is about. Giving back to the people, giving back. You're really giving back to yourself. You're not really even giving back to them. You're giving back to yourself when you give. You know, mm. this is what life should be. Mm. This is my key to my growth is to give it forward. Somebody blesses me, I bless someone else. I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for someone else in my life. Wow. This is true. This is true, man. Yeah. The creator has been good to us. He has brought us all the way back home to Sierra Leone. No, this is true. Back Where we at throne. right now? Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone, back on the throne. Back on the throne. Here in Freetown, check it out. Everything's good. Everything's beautiful. Everything's natural. Everything's from the earth. The plants, everything, the trees, this is just at abundance here. So why not be a blessing to someone? Even you. Here we are live and direct. With passport stamp, you see he's out here giving early in the morning, early in the morning. My brother, would you like to introduce yourself? What's up, everyone? I'm Passport Stamp from Memphis, Tennessee. World traveler, international traveler. Been in multiple countries. Uh, what brings me together with Worldwide Eyes is uh, Sierra Leone, our connection with this land. And uh, it's good to be here. It's an honor to be here to go through this interview. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. 
and we already know this ourselves, but what brings you to Sierra Leone? Oh man, this is the big question. This is the big question that everybody wants to know. Chad, that's my uh, government name, but Chad, Passport Stamp, what are you doing in Sierra Leone? Well, I had the opportunity to take a DNA test, right? Through a company called African Ancestry. You take this DNA test, they swab, they give you information in maybe 45 days, and they tell you exactly where your bloodline comes from. I'm telling you, they can tell you what tribe you come from, even what region of Africa you come from. I basically took this test and it directly told me that I was of the Mande people out of Sierra Leone, to be exact, and this is what brings me back. Some countries, not a lot, but in Sierra Leone, if you can prove that you are, you have the bloodline of one of these tribes that's located here, they will grant you citizenship. Of course, you gotta go through a process and get everything completed, but it's a very swift and fast process. So this is why I'm here. I'm basically here to tap back in with my people, get in contact with my ancestors, meet chiefs, talk to uh, business people. And the main thing is to get uh, citizenship. This is the goal. This is definitely the goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so cool of uh, Sierra Leone to even ex extend themselves to us with yes. this program. Yes. Because there's other ways to get citizenship mm -hmm. in African countries, but a lot of times you have to invest a certain amount of money. This is true. Or you have to have a parent who is directly born in the country. This is true. But with Sierra Leone, you just have to take that test with African ancestry and yes. show that you have a bloodline from here. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. So you mentioned the, the Mende tribe, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what have you been able to find out about the Mende uh, tribe? Okay. Or? Yeah, yeah, great question. Um, basically, I had the opportunity to uh, tap back in with my tribe. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my tribe was a uh, big community of them located in a city called Bowtown in Sierra Leone. I was able to go to the bow town and tap back in with my people and I was in, introduced to the chief of the tribe and get the blessings of him mm. to give me my African name. Since I come back to the land, he blessed me enough to receive my African name. My African name is Mundar. Mundar means of us. Basically, the chief was telling me I am of him and you are of me. This is what basically what it means when they say Mundar. So this is my African name, M-U-N-D-A-R, very powerful name. Also, they had multiple um, uh, ceremonies where they were doing uh, the cultural dances as the Mandate people do. And uh, they even broke bread with us and fed us uh, the food. I felt like I was at my grandma's house when I was younger. It was amazing. They had the young children come out and dance. It was just a, a, a whole around experience that changed my life, my perspective on the way I look at things. And um, truly a blessing to be able to come back to this land, do a full 360. Uh, piggyback on this, I don't like getting negative about situations, but we all know the situations about my ancestors were uh, taken, uh, disrupted, uh, very unkindly and took out of their home and took to other places around the world. For me to do a 360 and come back home is very powerful in myself and I think for my family, so yes. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, us as African Americans uh, being cut off from the continent for 400 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know my own feeling in being able to come back um, for you and your family. Yeah. Is, is this like a, a really big deal, being able to come back to, to your, your home? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. It's major for anybody. I don't care if you are Native American, Asian, African, no matter what. If you find out where your ancestors come from and you get the opportunity to touch back in with your people and your land, this is definitely uh, a powerful situation. So my family, uh, I, I try my best to keep them included in everything that I've been doing. I, called them on live and showed them different ceremonies and I've seen the looks on my family faces when they see all the joy that I'm having since I've been back home. So yeah, this is this is one of those things where, you know, my blood runs through my brother's blood, you know, so he feels he feels the joy too. He's not here, but my, my mom feels the joy too. So yeah, man, we all connected, man. One blood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is this is true, man. Uh, to get back serious, yeah, this is a powerful thing for, me. of course, my family, you know? Because one thing about it, when you do African ancestry background, I did it on the maternal side, my mother's side. 
So they trace your grandmother's side. So when you do this, everybody on your grandmother's side knows now where they come from. You're taking a test for that whole side of the family. This is the key. Like, so you're not doing it for yourself because the blood runs through thick through your other family members too. You know. So I sent information when I got this uh, resorts about where I come from the mandate to my whole side of that family. Now it's up to them to do what they do with it, but it's powerful information in itself. So yes. I agree. Yes. And you mentioned um, the, when you met, visited the Mendes, they even fed you. Yeah. yeah. The the <laughs> food, is there any comparison to the food uh, from America? This is, oh uh, man, such a good question. Uh, my background, guys, um, I don't want to get in fine details, but I have been a world traveler for maybe 16, 17 years now. Mm. Every place I go to, I may tap in with the African people in these countries. And what I notice in every country I go to, we eat the same foods. We literally eat the same foods, but we make them taste different. So in Sierra Leone, they do this grilled fish with the rice and they do this salad. Guess what? You could go to Colombia, South America, they do the same dish. But the coke, it might be coconut rice. It might be a twist to the way they cook the fish. But it's still the same setup, you know, everywhere you go around the world. Um, we were people that were able to, um, you know, turn food that people would call the bottom of the barrel of food and turn it into like cuisine, you know what I'm saying? So this is what my people do. We turn, we turn uh, salt into sugar or whatever you want to call it, you know? This is what we do. So. The fish that I've seen over here, it may be a different style, but the snapper, we eating this in Colombia, we mm. this in Venezuela, in Honduras, all around the world. It's the same song. We all are tapped in somewhere, somehow. Yeah. But granted, I'm gonna let you know here, the rice, the, what's the rice called? The, what's the name of the rice that they call it? Uh, locally? I'm locally. Not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure either, but it's, their, their rice has a little spice to it. I know the Joe Love rice. Joe Lola rice. Yes. Sorry about that, guys. But this rice here, it's, it's, it's got a spice to it compared to Colombia, where when they do rice, it's co coconut rice. It's going to have a sweet taste to it. They, you know, you're not going to see them like 